Hey everyone, how's it going? Octopus here and welcome back to Union Cross. I'm going to be doing the high score challenge on my main account right now guys and you guys saw my free to play account. I probably butchered that one by not doing the proper L method. In this one, I'm probably going to do the same thing but I'm going to show you guys two different setups. Now setup number one is going to be this right here which has pure percentage mes medals. Percentage medals. Um, I got my HD Xion, 0.2 carry. I got two Pride Land Soras and then my Roxas EX. Obviously I don't have none of the 14% medals because my count does not need to pull. So I'm going to stop pulling until probably either a reprint of the key art medals to try to get extra attack on them or the, the, the Kyrie EX medal that just came out in JP. That's going to be like probably in December or January but if I can pass everything up until then why do I need to pull? Especially since everything gets replaced. But anyways, um, so I'm not getting any of those 14% medals. I have this setup here and this setup right here which I'm going to use 7% less so I can use my Axel single hits. Now, the thing about Axel, it has a 3.48 multiplier. And what I can actually do, it, and what all of you guys can actually do, is use your uh, HG Xion to copy any of your AoE medals. So what you guys want to do for the best possible score is click on all, and then go on hit and put one hit. Push OK, and everything from this list, guys, you put in front of an HD Xion on, like, the friend rear, and you're laughing. Because the friend rear, if you have it at level 35, is a 2.8. Um, besides the friend rear, you have the Mugo Glory, but again, you have to level up the Mugo Glory. You have Starlight, but again, you have to level up Starlight. So it all depends what you guys have. My friend rear, I can put anything I want in front of here that's AoE one hit and copy it and probably do a ton of damage. Here, you have to copy your friend metal, so ask your friend to share something but then you lose 21% or 14% which is bad or again like I said you level up Starlight and you put her there and copy whatever you guys want. Um, as for this Keyblade it's only 1.8 and I would never ever upgrade the beginning Keyblades ever until like gems are maxed out. Besides that, um, that's a 2.0 slot not that great and you're missing a lot of buffs. So you guys can do that out of all your medals here look for the one with the highest multiplier 2.59 you got a 2.89. My Axel has a 3.48. Uh, what do we got here? We got 2.59. So just go through your list and see what your best one is. Hercules, 3.36. Not that far off from the Axel. Uh, the only difference is that Axel buffs. But if you guys have all this over here, you pretty much have your own buffs. Especially if you use more of these guys instead of like buffing with this guy. And if you guys really, really want to be patient and like extremely extremely patient you guys put it on single and one hit and you guys can copy your Zaldan B with HG Xion because his multiplier 4.71 but again you're not going to be on the last slot if you do that so that's not that great idea but you do have Master Xehanort uh, what else do you guys have here you do have quite a bit um, you got Marluxia A you can copy with your HG Xion you got Rock Titan with a 3.93 which is higher than this but it does have the condition of HP but that doesn't really matter with all the heals and, and none of these metals actually take away HP. You guys can do that route too. Just copy something that has one hit and the highest multiplier. That's what you guys want to look for. Uh, Rock Titan is actually a really good choice with that 3.93 or Master Xehanort with a 4.58. Again, the only difference is that your Keyblade setup has to make you survive. So you guys have all those choices to copy your own medals or copy your friend medals. But the two setups I'm going to use is these right now, and that's what I want to go for. Uh, again, Axel's multiplier isn't super high. It's only a 3.48. It's just that he has his own buffs. I can technically put whatever else I want there because I have my own buffs as well. But mm, we'll see what happens, guys. Okay, without all being said, let's go in and see what we can do with 69%. 69% on the Divine Rose. It should be a good run through. It's all single hits. I'm going to start from the back of the room. Actually, um, I don't know where I'm allowed to buff. I believe the Poison Apple, if I buff too much, I'm actually going to lose here. So, let's try this out. Let's swipe here, swipe here. I have to activate 0.2 Kairi for the time 6 strength. I'm not going to activate HG Xion because I'm pretty sure HG Xion will kill that group, even without an attack boost. So, I'm going to try to do that to each little one. Uh, swipe and swipe because I believe from this point... 0.2 Kari plus the HG Xion copying the Axel, the HG Xion will kill them. I'm guaranteeing this because of how much buffs there is and how little defense those guys have. Um, again, I got to be very careful here. Even activating 0.2 Kari is going to start doing some heavy damage. 
and even the swipe from Aishi Sean is doing damage. So the level 100 group, I might not even need be able to activate. The, like, right here, I probably can't even activate it. Um, I'm going to swipe here. That does damage, guys. I, I can't. Uh, I'm going to swipe again, swipe again, swipe again. Uh, definitely can't activate. I can probably tap, but some of them will die. So I'm just going to use Axel in that group right there. I don't know if that's the best choice. I have to rerun it a couple times to see that. And this group, I can't swipe. I have to tap. Now, you guys are probably asking, isn't swiping bad? It is bad if you're trying to preserve HP. But since Axel does one single hit, preserving the enemy's HP is not as important as a multi-hit metal like a, uh, the EX Roxas there. So with all the small groups out of the way, I believe from this point on, like this guy right here, I should be able to activate a 0.2 Kairi. I'm going to activate a 0.2 Kairi. I'm going to attempt an HD Shion, guys. Oh my. Okay, definitely that would have done a ton of damage to the weaker guys. But the whole thing here, if I can activate my Kairi plus my two HD Shion and Axel, I can do tons of damage. Now, from this point, I'm not going to kill everything. So what I want to do is get as much buffs as possible. So I'm going to add the extra times... Uh, three strength buff there just to give it times one so now I have a total total of times seven strength now This right here is gonna give me the most speed defense I need if you guys can see it right now not on the llama or anything But once I activate on the llama, I mean everything once I activate this axle Everything's gonna be times seven, but you see my speed strength and my strength times seven times seven I have enough here guys now the enemy's speed defense went down by times seven as well So we're we are pretty much into the clear of 17.5 this is the run through for this one. I'm going to go full activation here, guys. There's no reason why not to. Um, well, the reason is that I don't need this much buffs. This is, like, excessive. But since it's the last guy, I know nothing's going to kill you here. I don't have to preserve HP. So I'm going to go for one big smack right here, guys. There we go. I'm pretty sure I hit 17.5. Well over 17.5 with this Axel. Um, is this the best method? I believe using a single hit metal, even if you lose 7%, will probably turn out better for you. I could be wrong, I could be absolutely wrong, but who knows, um, probably you guys, you guys probably know, I know too, um, I'm just gonna activate, no, no, let's just try to tap around, I'm gonna lose a couple guys, which is fine, one there, that guy didn't die, which is good, uh, I don't want to kill the main guy, so let's tap right here, and let's activate Axel, actually I could activate, Z H oh, that's okay, activate Axel, there we go, end score of, 18,606,000 so I got myself the 17.5 which is more than I needed um, the 69% is way over what you need you guys can get you can get away with using like 59% or 62% to get yourself the prize easily which is the King Hearts 0.2 Donald and Goofy you guys can do a 59 or 62% somewhere around there I'm gonna test it out myself for you guys but that puts me in 400th place all right, so with the friend rear, we're going to go in with 76%, uh, 76 but I'm going to show you guys a couple things you got to know. There's proper ways of buffing, buffing, and then there's proper ways of not buffing. So some enemies, it's good to go all out. Some enemies, it's not good to go all out. Now, that only depends on your friend metal. Now, when I was using Axel, I can buff as much as I can without killing the enemy so my Axel can do the most damage. But with... EX Roxas here, it's totally different. All four hits have to land, or if all four hits are not going to land, buff as much as you can if you know only one hit lands anyways. Now, for this helicopter fleet and the little airplane thing there, you would figure buff as much as you can, right? So, the way we're going to get max buffs here is if we use the 0.2 Kairi with two Roxas EXs. Because Roxas himself gives a times one strength buff, he lowers, uh, he gives you set speed strength by 5. So using my own and using HD Shion, I'm going to get perfect buffs right now. Because it also lowers the speed defense. So I don't have to use these guys right here. I'm going to go with my uh, EX Roxas. I'm going to go 0.2 Kairi. And you guys are going to see already, they have a negative 4 speed buff. Both of them have negative sport, uh, 4 speed buff right there. Negative 4, negative 4. Activating this is going to give me a negative 3. And my buffs are 6 and 7 strength. So, perfect buffs, right guys? My score is 400 and, uh, sorry, 4,644,000. Now, you might be thinking, well, you did the most buffs possible. That should be the best score. Again, that is not the case all the time. And I've done this a couple times before I did this. That's why you guys saw the cutout. I decided to go to the last guy just to talk about this part. How important using a multi-hit metal is 
when you gotta calculate how much points you need. Now, having the single hit, very, very good. But when it comes to bigger guys like this, if you can calculate your buffs properly, you can accomplish or not a lot. Now you might think, okay, just activate 0.2 carry and your HD Shion. I'm gonna show you the score of doing that. So activating 0.2 carry and then activating my HD Shion, it will kill them. But look at my score again. First score 464, second score 462. More hits landed, but I got less score. Or sorry, the same hits landed and I got less score. I believe the, uh, the same la hits landed. I'm not playing full attention, but again. The whole point here is showing you that you guys got to try different buffs combination with your attack metal, especially with a multi-hit metal. Now, let me show you the best one. I also tried double uh, my Roxas EX with my HG Shion only, and that didn't work out either. That was 464. But using my Pride Land Sora, which gives me a time 6 strength buff, which is all I need, and it also gives me the 3 tribute up, so... I got 3 speed up times 2 and 3 strength up times 2. Now I'm going to swipe here, swipe here and just activate my HG Shion. And what happens is the enemy on the left takes more hits and my score is now 4,674,000. So it turns out better for me to activate 2 Pride Lansoras. Now let's back out, let's do the last guy first. What you can actually do is go in and out for each group individually and try to calculate it. But I'm going to go in and do that last one again and try that again to see. Or you know what? Let's just go in and let's do it individually. This is how you're supposed to properly do it. Since we know that the camel here is going to survive, we technically need more buffs. So I'm not going to use a Prylansaurus. I'm not going to use my own Roxas. I'm going to use my 0.2 Kari with just the HG Shion. Now let's see what happens. The Llama survives still, and this is what's going to happen. Finishing it off is not a big deal. With anything you guys have, your MVP already landed. So we got 7,776,000. 7, so let's jump in, and let's try it again. This time, let's go full buffs. Let's go full buffs just because how powerful that Llama is. So full buffs mean that we're going to have to go with double Roxas and the 0.2 Kari. So yeah, because they're level 600. I don't know why I was thinking any different. So let's skip these two right here. All this group has is no defense. So, uh, Roxas, 0.2 Kairi, and the HG Shion copying a Roxas is full buffs. Time 7 buff I have on right now, time 6, and the enemy has negative 4 speed buff. With this right here, they're going to have negative 7. It's going to fully kill them, and now we have a score of 782. So, as you guys can see, it's better to fully buff on this enemy here than it was a level 500 enemies. So now that we know that for those two enemies, let's back out and go back in. Now, I could go double Pride Land Sora and HG Shion, but it's not going to kill them and I'm going to lose score because I didn't. my MVP didn't take away all the HP from that camel. So we know the level 500 group, the helicopters over there, we have to activate just Pride Land Sora's. Second group, we know we have to activate that. Now I'm just going to finish this off and see what score I can get. Later on, I'm going to post a video where I do my perfect, perfect run. I just want to show that example to you guys. You got to know when to buff and when not to buff with certain metals just because your metal does multiple hits. Again, you guys saw uh, 464 was with pure buffs, 467 with the proper buffs. This group right here, we're going to skip out on the two Pryland Swords. We're going to activate this Shion, uh, this Shion, this Roxas, my Kyrie, and then Shion. And that gives me the best score possible. I can test it one more time, maybe adding a Pride Land Sora, see what happens. But the buffs were there, so it shouldn't do too much. From this point on, I'm just guessing. I didn't practice any of these. These are very low leveled. And the problem here is that I'm probably not going to land multiple hits anyways. Even just activating HD Shion, it's probably not going to do more than two hits. So what I want to do here is I'm going to swipe here, activate my 0.2 carry, and activate the HD Shion. And... My guess is that should work. Again, this is not going to be my perfect run. Because for a perfect run, I have to go in and out, in and out. So, I'm just going to buff as much as I can to kill these guys with the uh, HG Shion. Using the 0.2 Kari with HG Shion is a lot of damage. Most likely, even activate HG Shion on that group right there would only do one hit. But let's just see if I can beat my score of 18,606. Now, this guy right here, again, is probably only going to be able to take one hit. So, 0.2 Kairi and then activating my HG Shion. Now, I could probably throw in 
uh, my other Roxas EX now that I think about it. So a mistake right there too, because only one hits landing, I might as well go full out with my buffs. So let's activate Roxas here, see what happens. Roxas ends up killing those guys. So you see what I mean right there, guys? You have to be very, very careful with what you do. So let's tap on all these guys right here. Activating 0.2 Kari will kill them. I know this for sure because of my free-to-play account. So I'm not going to do that. And we are pretty much far off from a score that we want to be at with the 7% difference. Now, again, I could be doing this totally wrong, which most likely I am. Because I got to redo each and every single one to make sure I do a perfect method. But here we go. Multi-hits. Uh, screwed up a couple enemies. 18,240,000. The thing is, I have 7% more. So, I can probably perfect this, so all buffs try to go through, but because I have a multi-hit metal, my one giant hit doesn't have the most buffs possible, and that's where I lose a little bit of score. So, taking away that 7% might turn out better. I could be wrong. I have not tested it enough. This is just my first look at the, the actual high score challenge with my main account. So, I'm going to keep doing this over and over, just like my free-to-play count. I'm going to try to get a better score. As for everything that's happening here... I'm going to tap on this guy. He's going to die, whatever. For everything else that's happening here, I'm going to perfect it later on. So the difference with 7% less is from 355 to 606. So around 250,000, guys. 250,000 and I use 7% less. Now, even if I perfect it, having the single hit metal might turn out better for you guys instead of that 7%. Or for anybody who doesn't have those play, uh, Pride Land Soras, you want to use a metal again. Copy your AOE, fr your med friend metal. Copy your own AOE metal. Use a single target metal. You just got to make sure you bring in defense boosts, and you got to bring in second chance because most likely you're going to get hit and you're going to die. Because using something like Zaldan B, where it's one hit, one hit, one hit, you got to kill each enemy. That means you got to survive. So it's better just to use an AOE metal. Again, your choices on AOE metals are not that great. If you have Hercules and Phil, you're laughing, but. I'm going to try to perfect this. If I bake a better score with the 76%, yeah, 76 if I make a better score with 76%, I'll let you guys know. If not, if you hear nothing from me, then you know otherwise that using 7% less with Axel was actually better. This account, 400th place, I'm happy. Hopefully this video helped you. I know I didn't do a perfect job on this. I could be missing out on some information, but that's where me replaying this over and over and over does help if I got the spare time. If you guys don't know, I have that newborn, Penelope, that I have a lot of time put into her more than I put into these high score challenges, especially when high score challenges um, are super tough like this. I'm just lucky I pulled a Roxas EX. So let me know what you guys are doing, what you think I did wrong. All criticism, always great guys. Um, eventually, I'm going to get a better score. I just got to try different buffs and debuffs like I was showing you guys. In and out, in and out, in and out, each group until I know exactly what to do. So, for now guys, that's all I got. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.